What's up guys, it's Bones, and I'm headed back to Whitefish, Montana. I didn't get to go on a snowboard trip last year because a buddy of mine got hurt and we just decided not to go because it would have killed the whole morale of the trip. So it's actually been a couple years since I've been on an actual snowboard trip. So I'm super excited to get out there and ride this year. We're actually riding a plane out there this year instead of riding the train. The train is only running three days a week this year because of the pandemic going on and the cost of a plane flight was actually about the same price as train. So we figured we might as well spend more time out there riding and less time actually traveling to our destination. And since I'm flying this year, I figured why not give you guys a little bit of breakdown of what it is that I'm actually bringing with on this trip. That way it may help you guys figure out what you need to bring with on your own snowboard trip. Uh, you got my boots. Uh, you got boot warmers inside of here. They're actually pretty amazing. They're electronic and you plug them into the wall and they dry out your liners. Great thing to have. Got my bindings, got my board pants. Uh, but inside these pants, I actually have my gloves stuffed in there as well as the flask. Gotta have that for the courage that it gives you out there. In here, I have my socks and all my long underwear. That is pretty vital to have. This is my tuning kit, uh, which has an iron, wax, some other various stuff to keep your board in tip top shape. And then the board bag obviously for there. Then this is what I'm using as my carry on. My carry on is this backpack that has done some serious world traveling for me here and uh, it's never led me astray. I keep more uh, sensitive items in there like my goggles, that way they don't get banged around. I have board shorts there and there. Um, inside this little bag, I have my underwear, my t-shirts, and my socks. Uh, you gotta have just lounging around basketball shorts. That's always a good thing to have. As far as what kind of electronics I'm bringing with, ooh, I'm about to drink some of this. This is that packing fuel. <sighs> yep. I'm bringing my 85 millimeter 1.4 IS. That's kind of my B-roll lens. Super nice to have. Uh, got a memory card reader. Not sure if I need that. I uh, got the GoPro, that's obviously a vital accessory to have out there. That's what recuts most of the footage while we're out there. Headphones, these are gonna be nice. It'll be the first year that I actually have wireless headphones while I'm riding out there. Diffuser, that basically just is sunglasses for your lens. Extra batteries, GoPro batteries. Power bank, uh, then I'm bringing this bag right here. This is just a smaller little bag that I can put inside of my backpack. That about wraps up all the things I'm bringing with on this trip, guys. Hopefully that helps you. I gotta finish packing. We'll see you guys in the morning. There's Foster. Driving me to the airport this morning. That's not true, it's my mom. pretty smooth. The bag was only 35 pounds and there was a lot of stuff in there. Here we go. Denver. Well, pretty sure we're going to miss our connecting flight into Whitefish. That's too bad. That's kind of how it goes. Um, it's travel for you. We'll get there one way or another. Uh, there's no point getting upset about it because it's not going to change anything. So, not a good way to start the trip out here, but we'll get there. Landed in Denver, and that two hour delay we just had 
sitting in Fargo at the airport caused us to miss our connection flight now. We go to custom service, figure out if we can find another flight from Denver to Kalispell today, and uh, we go from there. We miss our connection flight, but it's all right. With some good people. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 We'll make it to you, Whitefish, don't worry. You know why they call them potato wedges, right? Oh. Got to wedge them. You wedge them in there? Can you take it? Yep. <laughs> awesome. So now we're just walking around the Denver airport, just uh, trying to find a flask for these uh, fine folks. Thirsty. Because you gotta have, you know, libations when you're out, just ripping the slopes up. Whenever we get there. found this little sitting area here outside. It's nice out here in Colorado. Way nicer in Fargo, North Dakota. But I saw a guy sitting over here all by himself and it was uh, Andy Samberg. You may remember him from such things as Lonely Island, Saturday Night Live. Okay. <laughs> you know, even though it's delayed, it's not a bad little vibe. We got a fire, we got some beers. We're outside with some good people. Listening to some John Mayer. Painted my nails. We're doing all right. Probably. Seven hours in the airport. We're finally headed to Kalispell. The delay was quite long, but you know what? We're gonna be there shortly. See you guys there. What's in here? Oh! Oh! God! Look at that thing! Oh, God. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to wax boards, and of course, uh, it's like midnight, and perfect time to do it. We're supposed to get in a lot earlier this evening, but we didn't. But in order to have a great day, we need to wax some boards, so let's get to this. I didn't even get to braid Micah's hair today, but uh, maybe tomorrow's another day.
found this gem just here. Took me all day to find it. You know, it's tough, but times are tough, but my family is eating good tonight. Folks been logging these parts for years. It's nothing new that it, what I'm doing, but you gotta live with what you do. So normally we cross this cat track and there's like a road that goes through it. And uh, it's pretty cheese grated up here. So everybody's doing the hop along method. So we just got done with uh, the lift out here today and uh, we built a little kicker here at uh, the side of the cabin and the boys are hitting it. First red chair of the year. Come all the way to Montana to get it. What's up guys? We're about halfway through the trip here and it's finally starting to snow a little bit. I don't know how much it's gonna actually accumulate over the course of the day here, but anything helps really. Okay. You don't still have a twisted D in there, do you? Why, do you think that would be good right now? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> hey Mike. You just about punctured herself. <laughs> Look at Jeremy P and Colton C. It's getting twisted. <laughs>
So Micah just found this Coors Banquet on the side of the mountain. It really is grown out here. Good morning, it is the last day of the trip here and we're excited because last night they got four inches of snow overnight and maybe that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you've had a trip that's been pretty much non-existent on the snow scale, uh, when you can get a little bit, it's gonna make a big difference. So we're gonna try to get out there early today go and rip and have one last kind of good day out here with some fresh snow. Hope you guys enjoy this. Let's do this. Austin decided he didn't want to snowboard anymore this trip, so. Uh, I don't like snowboarding on a lot of snow, you know. It's just too much snow, it's not, not as fun. You know, we waited all week for this and I wouldn't have changed a thing. Getting it on the last day here makes everything all worthwhile. We got snow, guys. This is what I'm talking about. Where, where'd your board go? There's so much snow, it's just buried. What a run. That was our first run of today and it was better than any run we've had all week out here. Uh, it's crazy what just a little bit of snow does. We're out here in Hell Roaring Basin today and uh, it's foggy, but the snow came down and as far as we can tell back here, there really hasn't been anybody back here yet. So we're gonna tear it up, have a good day. Cheers to you guys. Get out here to Whitefish. another trip guys done in the books it was super fun I'm so glad I got to spend time with all these guys that I only get to see maybe once a year uh, we all had a great time out here we stayed at extra cabin down here we normally stay at lodgepole lower but we needed to change it up a little bit this year so we hit up a lot of fun runs out there you know my words of advice for you if you come out to whitefish take a look at hell warren basin hit up chairs 7 and 11 chair 5 those are kind of the spots that we hit up while we were out here they worked really well for our group. Maybe they'd be not so well for yours, but 
take a look at them, explore the whole mountain. But those are just our favorites as a group. Now it's time to get on the road. We have our shuttle picking us up here in a few minutes. So as always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.